Hi, this is Jill Mack, and I want to go over some debugging tips. I'm going to be using Notepad++ to explain <clears throat> using the compare feature. So I'm going to open up um, some files. So I'll check a couple of files. First, I'll check this one. And I'm going to open with Notepad++. So here I am in Notepad++. I can close this little snippet. And I want to compare this multidimensional array. And it I happen to be using PHP code, but it doesn't really matter what it is. Anything in the editor, any file in an editor can be compared. We happen to be comparing some PHP files, but it could be any file. And I'm going to open up another. And I'm going to, oh, I'll do it this way. Just go here where I was, and I'm going to open the second one with Notepad++. Now they happen to be um, on different tabs, and I just have two files here. I'm going to go to Plugins, and I'm going to go to Compare. Now different versions of Notepad++ um, will either have Compare installed, or you will have to go out to the open plugins folder and grab it. Sometimes you have to go and find it, but um, most times it's in the folder. If not, you just go out to the Notepad++, Google it, and look for the compare plugin. So we're going to go to compare, compare, and now because there were only two of them, they're compared side by side. Sometimes the fonts are a little bit small, so you might want to go into view and down to zoom and just zoom in. Um, and when you do that, uh, one side might zoom and the other, you might have to click in it and then say, uh, view and go in and zoom and zoom in. So we've got them both zoomed in and what I want to do is compare them. And so we we're looking at them and basically the only difference is the one on the left has spaces because you see these red and the one on the right has an additional space. It also has this code that's a little bit different, where I've put in a line. Not that the line is any different than this line over here. I mean, one's blank and one has the echo. Um, but that it's telling you with this green plus. The other thing is, I can go in, instead of saying Volvo, I might want to say uh, Ford. And instead of saying BMW, on this side, I might want to change it to um, Dodge. And it's not going to show up right away until you go to Plugins Compare and run the compare again. And now you're going to see that this line is different. Line 9 is different. And it's going to highlight what is different. And this is invaluable when you're trying to um, figure out what isn't working. In all of my examples, you know, all of my assignments, I'm asking you for a before and after. And the before and after is because you have your before code. This is code that you've gotten from, say, W3 schools. You've um, saved it, you've uploaded it to your server, and you're running it. You know that works. It came from a website, you installed it, and it's working. And you really didn't touch any of the code to make it work. It just worked, it just ran as is. And so you know it's running. And that's kind of what we would think of as the before or the, maybe the production version. This is a version that's working. And now we're over testing out, making some new changes. That's what I call our after or our test. And so if this for some reason didn't work, suppose you forgot to put the comma in, and then we go to plugins, compare, compare again, and you're going to see that, um, you know, we can see that, that our highlighting is a little bit different. It's showing you on this side, on this orange, that there's only a, a parentheses closing paren, and on this side, it's closing paren, comma. And so if you ran this, it wouldn't really run very well. The same is true as a lot of times, you know, you kind of forget the, 
the semicolons at the end of the statements. Um, and so if you forgot one of those, suppose I delete this one, and then I run our compare plugin, compare, compare, or control alt C, you're going to see that there's a difference in the orange down here. So that's how we use compare to do some debugging. Um, because especially, you know, when you're tired, you've been working another job, you got to come home, you got to do your assignments, you know, you might not notice that you accidentally removed the semicolon. Um, and all of a sudden it's not running well. And you want to see why. Run it and compare to see the two versions. And that is really important, especially when you're a junior programmer. Suppose you were a junior programmer somewhere and you wanted to ask a, a senior programmer for some help. A lot of times you're going to go to them and you, you know, you're not going to verbally explain it. You're going to verbally explain it a little bit, but you're going to show them, okay, it was working in this instance. Um, and now I made these changes and it's not working and I can't find where it is. They want to see a working version and the little changes that you made. They don't want to know you made 99 different changes and they're supposed to debug the code for you. They're going to, if you can present it clean to them and so that it's quick, they only have to look at it and get a quick answer, um, they're going to be very much more receptive to you. Um, so you always keep your working, your before example, so that you can do a compare. So that's it for compare and Notepad++. Students know that if they have any questions, they can give me a call at 802-254-8628. Thanks.